For our model today, we're going to do a uh, side part style haircut. Uh, we're going to leave the front longer so we can get a little bit of lift in the front when we style it. And um, on the side here, we want to have some more hair in the front so we have just a little bit of overhang in the front there. Um, we're going to do a, uh, a close fade about two finger width around the ears and we're going to drop it a little bit lower as we work our way down. The one thing that we have to be careful of with hair uh, this type is that it's uh, fine and it's straight and it grows uh, forward. So what happens is you need the weight of the hair to hold it down. So if we cut it too short here, it's going to stick straight out. Um, but with that being said, we also have to be very careful with the blend area because when we're cutting it close here and need to leave it longer here that we don't see a ledge or a shelf or um, anything that looks like a bowl cut. So what we're going to do to start out, we're going to layer the top first. I like to work from the top down so I don't create any heavy weight lines. So we're going to layer the top with our, uh, our scissors and our fingers. Then we're going to do a scissor over comb technique around this area of the haircut and then we're going to go into doing our, our clipper work. So the first thing I want to do since the hair is freshly shampooed but it has dried out is I want to dampen it down and when we're working with fine straight hair I like to keep it uh, semi damp. I don't want it dripping wet because then I can't tell what the hair is going to do. So just like that's pretty good and I'm going to take about an inch off because I want to keep the top longer. I'm going to take very small sections because if we if we take sections that are too wide, we're going to leave um, scissor marks or razor or clipper marks. If we're doing either clipper over comb or scissor over comb or scissor over fingers, we want to have very small sections so so the hair is cut nice and evenly. And then we'll go through and we'll texturize it and take a little bit of the weight out of it. So I want to get my center section first, like we did. Now I'm going to take a section on the other side. And I want to pull it back again to the front of the ear. I want to locate my center guide, which is right here. So I over direct it to the front of the ear. And I work my way back. Now we're going to do the other side. You can also do the scissor over comb if you're more comfortable with that. which I'm going to do in the back around the crown area. Because what happens with these style haircuts is if we leave the hair too heavy in the back, it pushes the front forward and it won't stay back. So we want to make sure in this back area here that we cut the hair short enough, that we cut the hair short enough and take enough of the weight out so it doesn't push the hair forward. So it's growing from, from the part towards me so I'm going to come from the opposite direction and just very move the comb slow so I take more weight out so when you're using the scissor over comb technique I like to angle the comb in just a little bit because what it does is it picks the hair up much easier than if you were pushing the hair this way, when you angle the comb out, like a lot of people hold the comb like this and angle it out and it pushes the hair. So what I want to do is I want to hold the comb like this and what it does is uh, it picks the hair up easily and allows us to cut it and take that imaginary line straight up in the air. So I don't want to leave any lines of demarcation or weight lines that have to be blended out. Okay, so that way we can bring it in a little bit tighter. It's not sticking out. I've got to be really careful, so I do a little bit at a time. I move the comb nice and slow so I don't miss any hair or leave any scissor marks. Are you a member of HowToCutHair.tv? Learn the art of men's barbering from third generation master barber Greg Zorian in full HD, 24 seven, from anywhere in the world. Sign up for your free membership and learn how to increase your efficiency and make more money behind the chair. HowToCutHair.tv So what I like to do at the end here is to kind of speed up just a little bit. 
So what this does by speeding it up is it doesn't cut every hair and we're not in danger of pushing the line too high. So there are times when you're going to want to go really slow with the clipper and there's times when you're going to want to just speed it up just a little bit. Now as I work my way towards the back I want to dip it down just a little bit. And if you look at my wrist, my wrist is completely straight. If I start doing this stuff, I wind up creating uh, lines or, or weight lines or lines of demarcation that need to be blended out. So we want to be as smooth as we can with our clipper so we, we can avoid that. So and then we're going to continue to drop it down in the back. So right where we left off with the three and a half here, once I get there, I'm just going to use a, a quick scooping motion and that's going to blend it into that, into that previous length. And we're going to do that with each of the shortest blades as we work our way down. And if you see any heavy, heavy, heavy spots, you can go in with the corner of the blade at a 45 degree angle and do a little point cutting. And this is a way to, uh, or substitute for using thinning shears, or a way to smooth out a fade without pushing the line up higher. Whereas if I kept doing this, we're just gonna keep pushing the line up higher versus really all I need to do is remove a little bit of that weight there. So now we're back to using the uh, eighth of an inch and keeping it flat on the skin. Now here's where I'm, you need to move the clipper slower. Around the outline of this model's hair, it's, uh, it's not as thick as in this area here. So you have to allow the clipper to work and move it, move, move it slower. Then I'm going to close it all the way. So a general rule to keep in mind is the longer the top, the lower you want to keep the fade. You don't want to have a long top with today's styles and then have the fade all the way up to here with a long top. It's going to be out of balance. So now when I'm in the back, I want to keep the blade parallel to the floor. Now I'm going to close it halfway and do it again and not go as high. And now we're going to close it down again and not go as high. And clean up the neckline. So we'll pull that hair cloth down so we can get right down to the t-shirt line. Okay, and now on the opposite side, we're going to make our line here. And then we're going to turn the clipper around and shave to it. Introducing Zorian of New York, premium grooming products for the modern man. Designed by third generation master barber, Greg Zorian. Made in the USA and not tested on animals, each of our styling products is infused with natural ingredients and features light, clean fragrances. Our two-in-one shampoo and conditioner is sulfate and paraben free and color safe. Do you own a barber shop or salon, rent a chair or run a school? 
find out how we support our retailers with world-class barbering education and product knowledge training. We're currently accepting applications for wholesale accounts and invite you to apply on our website, Zorian of New York. For styling a side part, especially when you want to get some lift in front, you want to use a, uh, a vent brush and a powerful hair dryer, dryer with a nozzle on it so we can really direct the heat. So what we're going to do is we're going to dry it forward, we're going to dry it to the side, and then we're going to dry it straight up in front, and that heat is going to lift that hair up in front so it's going to be easier to style when we use the, um, the paste. So, and when we're using a paste, a pomade, or a grooming cream, you're going to get a lot more hold when the hair is dry. So, very important, we want to dry the hair first, get it into the shape that we want, and then we'll use the styling product. Okay, so now that we have the hair nice and dry, we have it in the shape that we want, we're going to use our Zorian of New York shaping paste. And the reason why I like this paste so much is it's very strong and it, it's going to hold all day and it spreads, it spreads like a cream, there's no clumping and it rinses out real easily, it's water soluble, uh, comes out in one shampoo, there's no leftover residue, it has the all natural ingredients of vitamin E which is a powerful antioxidant which helps keep your hair healthy and also has rosemary which uh, moisturizes the hair and scalp and leaves the hair with a thicker and fuller look. So what we want to do is we want to take a good, a good amount and then we're going we're to spread it in our hands. And as I said it spreads like a cream even though it's a heavy paste and has very strong hold. So what I want to do is I want to get it on the top layer first in the direction that we're going to, we're going to comb it. And then we're going to come from the front and we want to get it right down to the roots or the base of the hair. And then once you get it on there, you want to brush it relatively quick, quickly before it hardens up and the hold takes shape. So same thing, we want to brush it all forward like we did when we dried it. So basically just brush it in the growth pattern. It grows in a circle, so we're going to brush it in that growth pattern. Then to the side, and then we're going to lift it in the front. And as I'm doing this, I still have the paste on my hand, so I'm smoothing it out, and as I'm smoothing it out, 
I'm pushing it down with the paste, so giving it a little bit more hold on the top portion of the hair. And then whether you're styling your own hair or, or you're styling somebody else's hair. I'm going to check the mirror. And again, by thinning, by thinning out the back, it pushes that back portion down so the front will stay up. Okay, now we'll spin them around so you can see all the way around what it should look like. So for a quick review, what we did was we, we blow dry the hair straight forward, then we dried it to the side, and then we dried it straight up in the front so we could get that lift. We used the Zorian of New York shaping paste, and we did the same thing. We, we spread it in our hands, we pushed it all forward, we pushed it to the side, and then we got the paste down to the base of the hair, right down to the roots, and then we combed it through with a, uh, a vent brush. If you wanted a, a tighter look, you could use the fine teeth of a comb, but uh, it spreads a little bit easier with your fingers or a wide tooth vent brush.